Hey guys, it's the InfoMark coming at you, and today we're going to have a look at how to remove a broken screw with a broken screw extractor. So you'll find that when you're putting screws in, especially if you're using a driver and the screws are soft, that you can get these all chewed up to the point where you can't use the driver anymore or a screwdriver to uh, either put them in or take them out. So at that point, one of the easiest things to do is use a broken screw extractor, what we're going to look at today. And uh, they come in a few different varieties. A lot of people call them easy outs. Um, and they look like these guys here. These are actually called speed outs. But uh, no matter which ones you're using, they all follow the same general procedure. And uh, they're not that difficult to use. So let's go ahead and have a look at how we use this tool. Here's what these guys look like. You'll see that there are four different sizes and each of them has two different tips. So I'm going to go ahead and make an extreme example of a torn up screw head and then use the screw extractor to remove the screw. I'm going to spin this impact driver around in here to ream it out a bit and then I'm going to use a drill bit to ream it out a little bit more and just make it a totally unusable screw. So as you can see, I reamed it out pretty good and it is no longer recognizable as a Phillips head screw. It's no longer possible to budge this thing with a screwdriver or with an impact driver or a drill driver. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the extractor. See that it has two sides. We'll be using side one first, side two second. And note that your drill will be in reverse, which is counterclockwise for the entire procedure for both sides. Now we're going to test for size here. You want to use the biggest one that you can get in there and just check both sides and make sure they both fit in there. We're going to go ahead and use side one first. It just goes in like any other driver bit. And once again, make sure that the drill is in reverse. Go ahead and put the extractor into the head of the screw and you're going to need to put some moderate pressure on here and what you're going for is a nice smooth hole with no burrs. If you have trouble getting the hole smooth with side one of the tool, you can use a drill bit as shown to make the hole smoother. Now we'll use side two of the extractor. Insert side two into the screw head and it should come out pretty easily for you. 